The first of seven deadly sins for gaming is wrath, meaning great anger towards someone. And there's not a single more angrier than Nintendo. Nintendo's wrath is again surprising its own fans. It's like a landlord getting scolded by a tenant. Basically, Nintendo does not like it if you do something they do not give permission to. If you portray their characters badly in a YouTube video, they will go back and strike you. But if you go talk to them and say, damn, this is the greatest shit I have ever seen, they will do nothing. And that goes for anything else. Try to mod their games. They will come and hunt you down. And try to emulate their 40-year-old game. And they will file a lawsuit for $10 million. It does not matter if you are 80 years old or not. They don't care. They will cover their loss, which is exactly zero though. The game does not sell anymore. It's like Nintendo's products are like Barbie, but their management team is like Oppenheimer. Okay, that was bad. Pride. There's literally no one more proud than Sony. They are proud of their platform. They are proud of their games. They are proud that Xbox fans will never get to play The Last of Us. You get my point. They are proud that they have outsold Xbox since day one. Okay, the last one wasn't really a big feat, but where does this pride come from? It comes from the 1990s, when Sony literally dethroned Nintendo in their very first try. For comparison, it's like Philips suddenly tried to make a smartphone and outsell the iPhone or Apple. Yeah, that's exactly like that. After that, they never looked back. They made the most successful console of all time, the Sony PlayStation 2. Like, people were mad. People in Japan were selling their houses to buy the PlayStation 2. This is actually true and my source is. Trust me, bro. Microsoft. Yeah. After Sony, after Nintendo. We have Microsoft. Back-to-back -back three console companies. <laughs> now Microsoft is like that fat kid who just eats food more and more. You throw it. Throw at him a burger. Anything. He will just eat it up. Microsoft is just like that. Whenever they see a company being successful, they will be like, Oh, you guys are good, but have you ever thought about mergers and acquisitions? So, how about you join the Microsoft family? And the studio is like, No, no, we are fine on our own, but thanks for the offer. Oh, well, how about we do a hostile takeover? And that's how every single company becomes part of the Xbox family, and they still somehow can't make games of the generation. Envy, also synonymous with Konami, is that same company that used to make games like Metal Gear Solid and Guns of Patriot, and now they make slot machine gambling games. How did the downfall happen? Well, when they were making Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain with Hideo Kojima, he exceeded their budget. And Konami wanted to get out of the AA gaming industry because they were like, why the fuck should we spend a hundred and dollar million dollars on a game if we can make fame on a game by doing gambling? Yeah, it's unethical and illegal in half of the country, but who gives a shit? Our Yu-Gi-Oh card game fell, and we made more money by microtransaction. And when Hideo Kojima left their company and made more masterpiece games with other studios, they were envious. We thought we owned you, bro. This is illegal. And they complained about why people don't like them anymore. Konami going from making Metal Gear Solid games to making Yu-Gi-Oh games is like Marvel going from making the best-selling movie of all time to making back-to-back -back mediocre movies. Oh, wait. Sloth, meaning laziness, is basically the American voting system, and George R. R. Martin. Anyway, when it comes to laziness, we have our prince in here. The baby boy of Microsoft's Bethesda games. Yeah, they took 20 years to make Starfield, and we have seen the result. These guys take forever to make games. Oh wait, isn't it just like Rockstar Games? Well yeah, Rockstar Games takes forever to make games. But their games are the greatest we have seen. I'm not lying. Look at their last two games. Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5. Can Bethesda ever make games like that? Yeah. They have made Skyrim, but after that they've been like, oh, why don't you play Fallout again, and again and again? It's like Tom Cruise reliving Top Gun every year for its anniversary. Top Gun 20th anniversary, Top Gun 30th anniversary, and Top Gun 35th anniversary. We want something new. Now they are saying our next game will not live on this generation's console, but on the next generation. Meaning, you will see Elder Scrolls 6 only on PlayStation 6. So throw out your PlayStation 5, and that dummy PlayStation Portal you just bought. It's useless right now. Wait, that's not the topic of today. Capcom, trust me, these guys spend more time designing their characters' bodies than they do defining the world. Capcom's brain runs on fan service. Whenever their fans want to see a female character more, in that way, they're just like, yeah, why not? Let's do that. 
Let's go all 18 or older in our game. If you are playing Capcom games, you can tell. You mean EA. Well, let's be honest here. Basically, every single gaming company wants a quick snip of your wallet. Name one company that does not run on money. But there are some companies that just literally destroy the boundaries of making money. They are Apple of gaming. Well, Apple is now in gaming too. I had no idea who invited them. Nobody is greater in the market than my favorite, your favorite, everyone's favorite, and your mother's favorite, Activision Blizzard. Like, just keep giving them $70 every year for the same game over and over again. Three-hour campaign for $70. Wow. Deal of a lifetime. They can produce games so quickly, yet they charge $6. It doesn't matter if the game is bad or good. They have created their own fan base that will play just anything like that. Man, I can spend anything on Call of Duty. It doesn't matter if you give me a 2003 Call of Duty rebranded. Just give it to me. Keep bringing me Call of Duty. For the first time, they're looking for gaming, and I hope you enjoy them. That was my intention for this video. And if you don't, that's just alright. Make sure to like, comment, and blah blah blah. You know what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.